Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel of glory. I am your host, Lacaroni, and we are going to be continuing what remains of uh, Edith Finch. Um, basically, like going on a small recap, going down memory lane. Uh, we have seen Molly's death. We have seen Calvin's death. We have seen Barbara, uh, Odin, Walter, and Sam. And uh, we're about to continue. If you guys are confused on what I mean by we've seen their deaths, please go back and check the previous episodes and I can guarantee you without a doubt it will make a lot more sense. Anyways, let's continue down the story. Let's see what other mysteries it offers us. Oh, okay. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Can we open this? Oh, that's a... Oh, that's Gregory! I was wondering what happened to Gregory. But he's got his own room, but... What? 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 Wait, wait, wait! Like... Okay, I just messed up with the controls as usual. Um, yeah, like, I was wondering what happened to Gregory, because, like, the kid was, like, around a year and a half old, or at least almost two years old, and, um, yeah, like, his death was, uh, labeled on the toilet. The pink, uh, kinky room. Uh, hmm. Okay. Divorce contract. Sam Finch, a lawsuit has been filed against you. You have 20 calendar days after the summon is served on you to file a written response to the attached complaint or petition with the clerk of this court located at 3527 Clerks Court Street, Friday Harbor, WA9250. A phone call will not protect you. Your written response, including the case number given above and the names of the parties, must be filled if you want the court to hear your side of the case. If you do not file your response on time, you may lose the case and your wages. Money and property may be taken thereafter without further warning from the court. There are other legal requirements. You may want to call an attorney right away. If you do not know an attorney, you may be called uh, an attorney referral service or a legal aid office. Listen in the phone book. If you choose to file a written response yourself, at the same time you file your written response to the court, you must also mail or take a copy of written response to the party serving this summons at 22 Main Street, East Sound, WA 32778. Copies of all court documents in this case, including orders, are available at the clerk of the the and uh, why am I reading this? I have no idea. Divorce contract between K Char K Carlisle and Sam Finch. Oh no way. Okay. So Sam Finch, the previous guy, the man vet, um he divorced. Okay. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah. Saw things the rest of us don't. Oh, I can tell I'm not gonna like where this story's going. Like, it's a toddler, man. Yeah, it's the bathtub, isn't it? Oh, the kid's gonna drown. Gregory, it's time to... Hold on, sweetie. Hello? The wheel's eyes just moved. Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wonder what he saw. Uh, kid, move. 
Oh wait, I'm controlling the rubber, the frog. Yeah. Oh. Reminded me so much of Cal. Oh, oh. Lost in his imagination. I can't help but feel childish right now. Whatever it was, he saw. It. Oh yeah. Oh no. They want me to turn on the tap, don't they? Oh god, why do I have to do this? It sure made him happy. I'm just gonna enjoy this before shit gets nasty. What am I going to be doing? Do I have... Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, I'm so glad. I am so glad. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. You might want Greg. Oh, no. I wish you could have told us. Yeah, I was right. About the world he saw. Turn off the tap. There's so much I don't understand. Oh Gregory. my god. About everything. Surface, Gregory. Oh my god, man, this is fucked up. Like, I know, I know, like, I saw it coming. Like, most of these deaths, like, once you see, like, where it's going, except for Sam, it's like, you know how the whole situation is gonna play out. But, like, regardless of the fact, even though, like, I was prepared of how Gregory was gonna die, but, yeah, like, still, eh, it's pretty fucked up. So, wait, who's Gus? Oh, that's Dawn. Am I Dawn? No, I'm not Dawn. I think Dawn is my mom. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry. Yeah. Yet. A poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to 
have talked him out of it, but though he'd never met me. We don't need a stepmom, or the words that I now pronounce you husband. Get them. Make his cry. Oh. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger. <laughs> oh, what a rebel! The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, is that the one with the bench? The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. But I'm having too much fun with this guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Where's the next bunch of text? Oh, I guess I'm next to the tent. No. Where? I'm I'm lost. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I need to pick up everything. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Oh, you dead kid. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. So, is that Sam's uh, son then? Fucking hell, man. Race flag at 7.30. Like, yeah, <laughs> those are Sam's kids. Like, you can see the military uh, habits kicking in, going towards his upbringing of his children. Oh, do we climb this? Yeah, we do. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Ooh, okay. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> she spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, Sanjay Kumar! It's a pleasure we finally meet. <laughs> okay, so she's half Indian then. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. So what happened to Lewis? When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Dawn. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Lewis, Milton, Edith. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, <coughs> things were good. Almost normal. <sighs> last. Nothing ever does. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday. When Edie gave him a castle. Oh, okay. 
Oh, so this is Milton's room. Okay. Can we look in? 1990. Oh, so he's still alive. Disappeared. The only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. It's a pretty dope room. Is he still alive, though? That is the question. There's a lot of footprints. What is that? Is that a map? Is that a ring? Is that my ring? That's like a gate? Oh wow. Oh wait, so they did paint Milton a uh, photo, so I guess they just presumed he was dead then. King Milton. And that's where we saw the crown on the uh, tombstone. So I'm guessing all those uh, tombstones, like you had the kid with the paintbrush. Then you had the kid with the crown. I think like all of them are basically like, if they got a statue on top, basically they couldn't find the body. Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. Oh, okay. Oh, it's one of those. Okay, that's sweet. What? Oh, I messed up. Kid was like what 11 years old or something. Okay, so presumably, like if the supernatural stuff is real, um, basically, what we can understand from this is that mom spent maybe painted the himself through a she sealed the doors. drone door that door. I thought that was a ring, but that's actually like a doorknob. Hmm, interesting. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm just stupid. Hmm. Upstairs, kind of. It's so funny. Like, I know, like most people don't like games that they like basically tell you where to go, what to do, and all that. But this game does it really well. Like, for instance, when I was coming down this passageway over here, like I had no idea what to turn up. Like, you're so intrigued into the story, you want to go with the flow. Like, you don't think me, otherwise. I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until mom got him a job at the cannery. Oh, that's a guy with those salmon, isn't it? Hello, Lewis. 2010. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. This guy knew how to party. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, no. Oh, that's a boat. Holy crap, I just noticed. That's a pretty sick room. You got the hookah, the shisha. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. Like weed? That part of him lived on. <laughs> Marijuana. 
A proper hippie. Oh, that's supposed to be like a station. Louis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Is that a metaphor? Oh, look at that keyboard. That's a Logitech right there, boys. We know our accessories. Yes, we do. Fiery Road. Dawn Finch. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh shit, okay. He kept working at the cannery. Okay, but, oh, okay, so I can do that. But he withdrew part of himself. In our this sessions, like... I saw the same behavior. This is a surgeon simulator, it's his cannery simulator. <laughs> Can I reach for them? No. Wonder. Oh, okay. Well, I got a multitask here, though. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. Like, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> oh, da da. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And things that have not names. Buff the magic dragon. <laughs> he knew it was all in his head. Took it very seriously. I had hoped to find himself. Hello, fish. No, no more. But he found something more. What? I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Oh, is he gonna chop his I hand spoke off? With his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. No, classic. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. This guy just likes his MMORPGs. Then he made musicians. songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. 
so he could do whatever he wished. It's okay. Your imagination's the limit. He held an election for mayor. And he won. <laughs> they begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Hugh Lewis here. St. Louis. <laughs> he started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Oh, you can see her mom's hand talking to him in the background, moving left and right. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a beautiful prince or a handsome queen. What? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go for beautiful prince. Go, handsome no. queen. No, beautiful prince. Oh, that's India. Wait, did my choices make a difference? The prince was on his own quest for... Oh, sinister serpents. Is it gonna... Sinister serpents. Followed the sound of his. Yeah, you know we're going for a sitar. Electric sitar. His chase <laughs> led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, so like, as the story progresses, I should have went with the queen and said, guy now. <laughs> he knew the world was all in his imagination. Like, as the story progresses, he's losing his sense of reality. You can see it for a fact. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he become something greater than a king. Okay, my god. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's another thing as Lewis again. Oh, that's definitely his locker. Yeah, the Chinese take out. There we go. All right. He began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. To be honest, I wouldn't like to work in a cannery either. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. 
same ch Oh, that's him. So who am I? Oh, he's... He's... He's not even working like he's in his own world. He's lost. So... Okay. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh my god, he's getting chopped up and put in a can. The palace would be packed with his companions. Go back, Lewis. He lost his son. Including the wise Calico who had insisted on advising him. Wait, wasn't that Mo Yeah, it's Molly! Molly! How are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> his prince waiting, holding his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I should have went for the queen, god damn it. Uh. There was only one thing left to do. You don't say. Oh, shit. Oh, I knew it. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, that's, that's just sad, man. That was just sad. That was really, really sad. Uh. Anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am. And I uh, hope to see you guys uh, on the next episode. I think it might we might be coming up towards the end of the game. Um, so... Might have the last video a bit longer if it offers that much of a storyline. Anyways, if you like the video, please don't hesitate to like the video itself. Leave your comments, follow, subscribe, all those shenanigans. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care.